the purpose of this launch, what we are studying today, or what ZACR is studying today, is not so much that a person on the street can show up this afternoon to an ISP or two way to obtain a name under the job egg, for example. This is what we call, if I may put it, it's a pre-public launch. And it is going to run for four months. It has two phases in it. One is called sunrise phase. That will run for 90 days. Sunrise phase is only for uh, trademark owners who submitted their, trade, their registered trademarks to ICANN in America. ICANN are the entity that give us the right to launch these namespaces. So if they have their trademark registered with ICANN, then they will be able during this 90, uh, they will be able during this 90 day period to register their names or variations of their trademarks as domain names. And also trademark owners from South Africa and Africa who have their trademarks registered or submitted to ZACR. ZACR is a facility they call the mark validation system, and that's for local trademark owners who don't want to go all the way to America to submit their trademarks. They'll be able to register from today all the way to the end of 90-day period. Parallel to Sunrise is what you call land rush. Land rush is really pretty much, and, and probably and just to underline this, it, it's pretty much open to people, but it's not on a first-come, first-served basis. It's going to run for 120 days. It's the one that will run with with Sunrise parallel, but it, it will run for a month more than Sunrise. While it is open, it does, it does not work on a first-come, first-served basis. People will be able to apply for names, but when you apply for names, that's what it is. It will be an application. It, you will not be allocated the name until we come very close to the end of the land rush phase. And when we come to the end of the land rush phase, if, you have, if it so happens that more than one applicant have applied for a name, then we'll have to resolve who gets the name through an auction process. The registration of names during land rush is on a higher fee than what you will probably be paying once we launch this publicly. So this launch that we are doing today is a sunrise and land rush launch. And from the 1st of October, we will now have what is called the public launch or the general availability, where now everybody on a first come, first serve basis uh, can be able to acquire names in the way that Cape Town extension, Deben, or Jobek. The ZA Central Registry, with the support of the ZA Domain Name Authority, the SA Department of Communications, and the cities of Cape Town, Durban, and Johannesburg, are excited with the mid 2014 launch of SA's newest city top level domains, CTLDs, ZA.Cities.